had an interesting conversation here with the Balintawak group. Yeah, and they were like, hey, yeah. that's like our stuff. Yeah. But the range is different and the intent is different. So that's, that's one of the commonalities. Our intent is bad. Huh? That's the commonalities. Um, um, so a little history if you don't know. Balintawak is from uh, Anshang Bakon, who a majority of his uh, system was developed from the Saavedras, right? And then back then they were dosiparas. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> a lot of people went to Balintawak because they think it's, it precedes dosiparas, but they're all born at the same time. And they just branched out. And um, Reno will, Master Reno will show that. Look at that, Master Reno is always cool with his earring no, and I, sunglasses. I don't have my eye protector and it's a close range, so it's better to be uh, safe than yeah. sorry. Es yeah. Especially I'm um, doing an aga with one so of I the have, best I have my grandmaster of Balintawak, so. Yeah. Don't make so. the kids cry, okay? Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, without further ado, Master Reno. So, uh, good afternoon, guys. You know, uh, Jim, uh, Eugene, right? So, Nekopo Balintawak um, uh, was founded by, or created by Grandmaster Arnolfo Moncal, who is a direct student of uh, the founder of Vinancho, SGM uh, Vinancho Bacon. So, it's a close range, a concept based. So, uh, Grandmaster June, Chengalan, bye. Already showed you a lot of techniques, right? So, we're just integrate and I think. 70% of what he showed is like Balintawak, but it's just a close range and without a knife. That's pretty much it. So it's easy for you to understand. So uh, first, uh, Balintawak or Nikopo and wood bag, the stances are short. Basically, it's like a walking stance. So like this. And the stances, like front, middle, and back stance are the basics, just front. So same like what uh, Master Jun, he did this, but shorter, okay? So- It's the surprise in the bathroom. If you fight, use the yeah. bathroom, then you'll be tighter. It's a, or elevator fighting, very close. So we, I'll do an agak with body shifting and, and uh, close range, okay? So first. One, yeah, see that? So when he counters, he just the back stand, so it's a bad. So if I punch here, I need to move, then he can counter me easily. There you go. Yeah, that's what he did, right? That's what you So I'm here, here. So I'm gonna counter, I'm gonna do the back stands. I can do a pakkang easily or block with my left hand. Now three, same thing, right? If I punch here, he can counter easily. Yep, here. And four. Five, yeah. So if I do my punch or counter with a stick, he can counter me easily. There you go. It's a body shifting. Now if I punch here, boom. There you go. Now forward. Six, seven, eight, nine. See, I can counter here. This way. So. So my body, when he counters, I have to move back. So this one, the, the founder has a saying, Simhutakudung, in English. Sniffy boy. Sniff or smell me, dude. So I want him to smell me. And the, order, and the only way I can do that is to do the body shifting. And if I counter here, give it. See that? So now, if I'll do a sub leg, he's gonna counter, yep. Just easy counter, but with the body shifting. Now, if he doesn't do a body shift, it looks like this. See, it's, it's hard and easy for me to, to counter him. So, but since he's gonna counter with the body shifting, if he do this, yeah, see that? Yeah, no problem. See that? So it's really easy to apply the technique with the body shifting, okay? Again, so it has um, five. five. 12. Here. Yeah. There you go. 
So do this. Yep. Yep. So the body shift is really important. Okay. So first concept we're going to practice is a basic forward, middle, and back stance, and also the lateral side is. So first it's going to be one, two, three, then forward, side, side, and then after that we're going to do a technique. And using the body shifting, okay? But, uh, Grandmaster Perry showed you uh, the knife concepts, right? So we call that something like Palut Sanay or Lusut, the English Lusut Bay. Pass through a needle, so yeah, passing through or so. English sucks. So here, if it's open, right, like this, this one, it's like a Lusut, like getting inside. Now, if it's like this, and you open. Now, if you want to lose out here, just basically bring this and catch the left hand. If you understand that, watch. There you go. It's a lose out now. Okay? So it's like a knife. No? Those parts is still that from Valenta Walk. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> the other way around. I steal it back. <laughs> so basically, it's like a knife, guys. If you understand the knife fighting, and and if you do a loose sword because you don't want to get caught, same idea. You just catch the hand or the weapon arm. So here, so you can do this way. See that? Close or open, it doesn't matter really. All you have to do is bring the weapon back and catch the left hand. So if it's open, right, the weapon arm should be here, this way, this way. Now if you do a close, this way, right? So, this way. Okay, again here, anyway. So, one, two, right? Okay, now let's combine push and pull with the body shifting and steps, okay? So the moment if it's here, right? Here, go here. This will push the bicep and you pull the tricep. Here, push. Now, boom, boom, boom. Here, so push and pull with body shifting. Now we're combining all four concepts. The lusut, or we call it spring, right? Spring, trap, shifting, and sideways. That's it. And push and pull. So when you push, like when you block the knife, you block here, right? Because if you block it here, it might get stuff. You block here or this part. Same idea. If I want to push uh, Eugene's arm, I should go here. If it's here, it should be this part. And it's better, Grandmaster Moni, you put his come here it has more power right so again in a here so if it's a close it's an x you can do a hook easy the moment it goes here right boom and then from this i go there this way push push and pull push and pull okay 